And the incredible Kush joins us now. Good morning, morning to Kush. you. Thank Sorry. you for having me, guys. Good this to have looks you. so intense. Yeah. It looks insane. Can you give us a little bit about the storyline? It's, and... it's a comedy, clearly, <laughs> as you can see. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm so excited to be talking to you about it. Um, Criminal Record is a dark police crime thriller where two detectives, one played by Peter Capaldi, one by me, um, kind of smash into each other and spend the whole series being complete nemesis, trying to work out who's going to win this cat and mouse game of whether somebody was convicted of something they didn't do. Like yeah. Peter Capaldi is a bit of a nightmare throughout <laughs> your journey in the show. What a great actor and what a great cast actually yeah. across the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic cast. Peter and I have wanted to do something together for so long and we actually um, put together this show ourselves and we're able to build the characters from the beginning. And we're actually like really good chums. He's very funny. He's hilarious to be around. So we almost couldn't be together too much when we were shooting our scenes because we couldn't get Chummy, and he, he just comes across as absolutely horrible on this show, but you also really love him. You, you know what I mean? Like, he's a flawed, but you just, you're like, oh, but I love you, yeah. How do you play such a serious character? Because you're so funny. I, <laughs> I don't know, I just do dark dramas. I don't know what to do anything funny. I, don't, I think it, what's weird about acting is that a lot of the time when you're doing really dark stuff, you actually end up having a really fun set. It's kind of, the back balance is really odd. We had a lot of fun shooting the show, even though some of the themes are really dark. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, I love, oh, I love anything where I get to kick people and they beat me up and I fall over things. And yeah, I just, yeah, I just love it. Yeah. So you're the exact producer on the show. Is that an added pressure? Then? Yes, a, a little, a little bit, well, it's Josie. Got a, it's got a, it's got I a had to success. work out who was going to get cheese toasties when. You know, <laughs> like, well, what were we going to do for our party? Were you party? booking cars for people? I was, booking, yeah. I was getting other people to book cars for people. It was intense. You know, what colour the mugs were? No. Um, do you know what was really cool about it is, like, it, you get to be part of that creative process from the very beginning. Usually, yeah. you're an actor, you show up, you get on set, you're given your script and you're developing the character as you go along. But with this, it's like I knew who June Lenker was before I got to set on the first day. Well, you've developed her. Yeah, and it was just so exciting. And like, I grew, I grew up in South London. And so to shoot where I grew up and to be part of the process in that way was a bit of a like little girl dream for me. Yeah. yeah. You're and proud. Yeah, I am quite I proud. I see that in yeah. you. I know yeah. British people are terrible at that. I'm like, I'm really yeah. proud of myself. Yeah, you're not <laughs> allowed to be proud of yourself. Well, no, yeah. Of course yeah. you are. Yeah. But do you know what I love about it? Because throughout your career, you, you've taken control of a lot of your career by writing and when things weren't yeah. going great, you'd write something, you yeah. generated your own work, which is, is really impressive. That was something obviously instilled in you by your family. You always yeah, work well, hard. My, my parents are both nurses, so like they always say like Fred and Ginger dropped me off in a basket on the doorstep, but they just don't know where this like this <laughs> this kid came from. They're like, where's she? <laughs> Gonna be on Broadway. Um, but I think that I always loved telling stories. Like I was always the kid at school that wanted to like do a play within, within the school assembly or like, can we make the nativity bigger like that was always my but I think um I am somebody who thinks that if it's things aren't quite happening for you the way you want them to you should kind of go back to yourself and see what you can make like if you're a maker you should make things so I wrote that play about Josephine Baker when I kind of wasn't working very much at all and it that ended up leading me to being on the good wife in the states you never know what you're going to do that's going to lead you to something else. Do you know what I'd like to see you do, Kush? What? I'd love to see you be a Marvel, have your own Marvel character. Yes. I, I could really see it. And you do all your own stunts, well, a lot of your own stunts I as love well, doing you? stunts. Like, I, I, I shouldn't because, like, I'm... A doctor once said to me, there is a reason why footballers retire at a certain <laughs> age. Like, I'm going, my knee's not kind of... Why is this always...? But I think um, I'm quite a physical actor. Yeah. I love knife fights. I love guns. I love rolling off cars. I love getting beaten up. I don't love getting beaten up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love the whole kind of technical aspects of like working physically because you do a lot of that on stage as well yeah i'd love to play a marvel character i like i could see you like a bit of a yeah. Lara croft yeah oh yes. yeah right okay. or a bond villain yeah. i'd love Ooh. to be a bond villain not a bond girl i'd love to be bond? a villain how about bond i mean Come you know I, I i don't know if i want i want to like create my own thing yeah. so i think i could be like a really awesome female bond villain Talk to us about the States. It's interesting because a lot of people work here and then strive to make it big in the mm -hmm. States. You're big over there anyway, <laughs> and you're back over here. Um, it's an interesting way to work things, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you kind of... Um, I think the pandemic had a big effect on lots of us. And also, I have a five-year-old um, who's adorable, who I love, and, like... You have a kid and that slightly changes your relationship with work in terms of wanting them to have family around them, people around them. But also, I kind of just go where my heart tells me that I want to go. I do a mixture of um, stage and screen and so I kind of like, 
I just move around the world is so much smaller now, so well, just you, very lucky, really. You're currently playing Lady Macbeth, aren't you? I am, yeah. Where yeah, with you? David Tennant at the Don. You love your doctors, oh. don't you? I love my doctors. I only work with doctors <laughs> and Scottish people. That's what I do. But the last thing David and I did together was Dead Water Fell. And we, we were laughing the other day because he was like, have you noticed we only do things where I'm evil and kill people and we're in Scotland? And I was like, yeah, yeah. We only... And he played Hamlet too, and I played Hamlet, so... Yeah, only doctors. Doctors in Hamlets. It, I only it, work with doctors in Hamlets. It's so it funny out. meeting <laughs> someone who's so different to the character they play yes, in the new drama, yeah. but you're just a joy to have with it. Thank um, you. Oh, Criminal okay. Record is start. Is it tonight? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's on Apple TV Plus tomorrow. First two episodes drop at once because it's way too exciting only to watch one, and then there's one every week. And I hope people really, really enjoy it because we loved shooting it across London. We had a great right. time. They will. Getting it yeah. set. Thank you, yeah. Kush. Thank you so Thank much for, for coming on. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Joy.